Ukraine. I am joined now by Ina Sovsan, a member of the Ukrainian parliament and a former deputy minister of education and science. Ms. Sovsan, thank you for uh, being with us today. Your story is like so many ordinary Ukrainians. You have another job. You are a parliamentarian, but you are now weapons trained. You are now uh, in your, your home with a weapon in case you have to defend your city against invades, invading Russians. I suspect this is not a position you have ever expected to find yourself in. Oh, that is so much true. Uh, just for the background, I, I am a university professor. That is what I was doing in life, and that is uh, what I was uh, trained to do. And uh, right now, I do have a gun. I haven't used it as of yet, but it is here, and I go to sleep next to the gun. Uh, just like so many other Ukrainians right now. And I also have, uh, well, well, my boyfriend is with the army. My dad joined the territorial defense. I had to make sure to relocate my son to the rest of Ukraine to make sure that he's safe and I can stay here in Ukraine and, and continue my, my work as a member of parliament here and then not worry about his safety every every minute. Uh, so I think that is just the story which is so typical of, of so many Ukrainians right now. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, um, it's because of this uh, atrocious war that Putin launched on Ukraine is that we are in this position right now. Uh, so uh, we just want that to stop. Uh, we just want to go home. I'm actually not at my home right now. I'm uh, in the wardrobe at my friend's place because that is the only place where I can turn on the lights and, and feel wow. safe uh, without uh, uh, right, getting you... lights into the windows. Correct. So. Yeah, yeah. It's the middle of the night. And you've got a light on uh, in your window. Tell me about your father. You said your father is part of the territorial defense. What is that? And, 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 and what is your father's role? And, and what took, got him into this? So the territorial defense are those units of volunteers uh, who are signing up uh, for uh, protecting the specific territory. And I will tell you the truth. The only time I actually cried during the, the five days war was the first day when I saw the huge lines in the military recruitment office wow. of people signing up for the, uh, for, for, the mil, uh, for the territorial defense. As of yesterday, over 100,000 people signed up for territorial defense. Uh, they are being provided with weapons. Uh, we do need more protective gear and and, uh, and stuff and training for them. And, and, and so did my dad, actually. Huh. It was quite unexpectedly for myself because the first day of war, he took my mom to the rest of Ukraine to make sure that she would be safe. But the next day, my mom called me and said, like, you know, dad is coming back home. And I called him and I said, dad, why are you coming? And he, like, like seriously, this was the quote, he said, uh, you know, I have to go back to protect the capital of Ukraine, the city of Kiev. And I said, Dad, you are 61 years old. Uh, well, you, he is an Afghan war veteran, so he has experience with guns. But he is, uh, well, he has sick knees, so he doesn't walk very fast. And he told me, well, if I don't walk very fast, I will crawl, but I will defend the capital. So he is now, uh, he's not doing some extremely dangerous uh, work because that is being covered by, by the military. Uh, but he's patrolling the territory, just like so many other people, because uh, what Russians did, uh, and that is something, uh, some of the biggest dangers inside Kiev right now, because they haven't entered the city, uh, but they did infiltrate many uh, groups of people who are walking around the city. They start shooting randomly at people, or they help set the targets for the missile attacks. Uh, so, so. Uh, those uh, territorial defense units, they are trying to patrol and find officials, guys, and try to, um, you know, to make sure that they're not a threat anymore, uh, that they are doing a great job, actually. And, and as you are reporting, uh, this level of resistance, it's just, uh, it just amazing. I, I expected Ukrainians to resist, but now I'm just in love with every single one of them. Hmm. Uh, regardless of their political affiliation, I believe we would have uh, so many differences once we start uh, speaking after the victory. But right now, it just everyone is, is so much involved. And what is important to understand, because Putin was drawing this narrative that uh, he's coming to free Russian speakers mm -hmm. here in Ukraine, but Russian speakers are, are fighting as hard against him and against his invasion as Ukrainian speakers. Um, so, so that is how it wow. is right now. That story about your dad, uh, who has difficulty walking, who says he will crawl. Um, who returned to Kiev after taking your mother to the West. I, I, it, we're hearing stories like this every day. Um, thank you for sharing this with us. A Ukrainian parliament uh, member, Ina Sovsin, uh, has returned and is staying 
in uh, in Kyiv to uh, to help defend the country.